Hey guys, what is up? So I'm Ozzy, just here to share the story about what happened the, the day my car got stolen. <laughs> um, yeah, so this happened back in November. Uh, I was just grocery shopping with my girlfriend. I was only home for about 15 minutes uh, when I just suddenly heard my car revving outside. And as a car guy, you really just know what your car sounds like. So I immediately like looked up and I was like, is that my car? And I hear my car revving again. And I immediately was like, you know what? That's my car. Somebody's like in my car without really knowing it, right? So I opened my apartment door and right in front of my apartment door is where I parked my car. And some guys literally inside uh, backing up my car. And I was like, dude, this is not happening. Like this is not just happening right now. <laughs> um, so what I did was is like, I saw this guy, uh, he was stealing my car right in front of my apartment. I didn't have my phone or my keys or like anything since it was all inside, uh, I started running. I like, I chased this guy, dude, and actually managed to to catch up to him right before he hit the main road and and I hopped on top of the car. <laughs> dude, like, I don't know what was going like through my mind at that time, but some guy was taking my car and I just was really just trying to go after it. And I ran after him, I jumped on top, like I said, and that's when he decided to take off. Um, rather than really just kind of like jumping out the car trying to fight some shit or whatever like he dead ass like he took off and i was holding on on top of the car through the sunroof guys um and if you guys know escondido you guys know escondido boulevard is a really fucking busy street especially at 7 p.m uh in the afternoon and like i said i was on top of the roof and he took off and we're driving down escondido boulevard uh crossing red lights swerving um just trying to like take off as he says right so i'm on top of the roof we're hitting 90 miles an hour i'm fucking holding on for dear life the car's shaking the car's moving the guy's really just trying to knock me off and i have footage of all these guys so like i'll show you guys at the end of like the whole story but um we get to the point where we cross about like six red lights um a couple of stop signs uh, we we passed a lot of people i'm yelling for help and nothing's really happening, right? And we end up in front of my dad's house. And at this time is like when it just seemed very, very fucking weird to me that I was in front of where I used to live a couple, couple months before then. And and what happened, guys, was, was very, very like, it was very scary for me, guys. Um, so we finally like stopped the pursuit, right? We get to my dad's house just down the street. Guy gets out of the car pulls out a gun, points it at me, like, off the car, and I'm just like, bro, <laughs> my life, like, completely went by me, bro, like, there's so much shit that went through my head at that time that I just completely didn't know what to say. <laughs> hey, guys, what is up? My name is Ozzy, just here to share my story about my car being stolen. Um, I'm sharing this video just to share my experience as to what went through my head, uh, what I really learned from it since the number one question i got from that moment when i mentioned the story to people was what did you learn from it right um so what i learned about it was if you haven't heard the story just swipe over uh listen to that first and, just, and then just come back uh to just kind of listen throughout this so it all makes sense but what i really learned from it is uh guys like for those of you who have children a special someone doesn't necessarily have to be a partner but it could be your best friend, your family member, you know, anybody. Just look at them and just tell them thank you. You know, tell them thank you for, for being you and thank you for being a part of my life because life is so short that it can just be taken away just like Batman. Like every, every moment should be lived moment by moment. And if you live a moment, live the fuck out of that moment because people used to always say, <laughs> I remember back in middle school, the biggest shit was YOLO but i didn't always believe with that because i truly believe that you live every single day you only have one burial you only die once right so it's really up to you what you really make out of every single day that you live and with me guys I, i'm really just honored to share this information with you guys and for those who have been a part of my life um like thank you and I appreciate you in every way and I hope that we can continue to grow together as, as this world continues on and I challenge you guys to just say thank you yourselves. Say thank you to, to, to those who really helped you get by you know, some tough shit.
and appreciate them so after doing that guys do it again tomorrow and then tomorrow so <laughs> i appreciate you guys taking the time to listen to this um i really care about you guys a lot los quiero mucho and se cuidan